uh, we say hello to everybody who is coming on. Lots of people have said hello. And uh, before we get started, I just want to let everyone know that if you have questions, post them in the chat while we go through, and we will have those questions answered at the end of the talk. And speaking of the talk, let me introduce our speaker. Uh, Kiki Gapelle uh, has over 10 years experience in the field of sensory, fragrance, and cosmetic specialization from an in-store consulting, sales, and marketing analysis to research and development perspective. She has had sensory positions in the leading fragrance, flavors, and chemical specialty houses in South Africa. Kiki received training in uh, Grasse in Paris, France. She holds a B-Tech pharmaceutical science degree and national diploma in analytical chemistry from Swan University. Kiki has been commended for the development of fragrances used in numerous well-known personal care products and fine fragrances widely sold in Sub-Saharan Africa and the Middle East. Welcome, Kiki, and you're gonna give us a talk about the basics of um, fragrances. So let's get Thank your you. presentation started here. And you can take it away. All right, thank you so much, Perry. Thank you so much, Marilyn, um, for this opportunity. Uh, so as uh, Perry has mentioned, my name is Keke Kapele, and I am a scent design manager at um, IFF. So that's the International Flavors and Fragrances Cooperation. Um, so basically, um, IFF is an industry leader in food and beverage, um, in health, biosciences, as well as scent products. Um, IFF is where science and creativity meets. So we literally create essential solutions for a better world. Um, and I will name just a few of our global icon um, fragrances, especially in fine fragrances, such as La Via Bell. Uh, we are the fragrance house behind Phantom and Invictus by Paco Rabanne, um, as well as My Way by Giorgio Armani. Uh, we essentially create innovative solutions and experiences and scents and tastes. And um, yeah, so basically, um, you know, the taste and scents that our world craves for. Uh, in addition to that, I also lecture for the Association of um, Cosmetic Chemists in South Africa, which is COSCHEM. And uh, COSCHEM offers a two-year part-time um, correspondence course, uh, which is an industry-based diploma, and it's highly recognized um, locally within our industry. And basically the fragrance basic module is offered to first year students. And um, the objective of this module is just to ensure that our students have basic understanding of ingredients that are simple odors um, that make part of uh, fragrances, but also to ensure that they have an understanding of fragrance properties and their uses and formulations. Um, and um, just for them to understand how a fragrance is structured, so the architecture of a fragrance, and uh, also the importance of classifications um, and the importance when we are describing fragrances. So before I actually um, get into the actual contents of, um, of the uh, fragrance basics, I'd like to touch on the sense of smell. Um, the sense of smell is um, associated with our memory and emotions, and uh, both memory and emotions are linked to the brain's limbic system. And uh, that is actually the, our nose is actually the passage to our limbic system. So because our sense um, of smell is associated both with memory and emotions, it's very much subjective. And what I mean by that is what may be pleasant for me may not necessarily be pleasant for the next person. What may be nostalgic for me may not be nostalgic for the next person because we've, we experience different emotions and memory linked to certain scents. Um, as we know, smell is one of the five special senses. However, smell is our discerning sense, if I can call it that, in that you can't really switch it off. Um, there was actually um, a lot of research that were done. One experiment that was conducted where a person was put in a dark room where there was no light penetrating through, through no sound. And what they basically did was to put a fragrance closer to the exit and the way they found the way across the room was to follow the scent. Um, a house could be burning down. You may not be able to particularly um, see the flames um, or even hear the flames for that matter, but you'll definitely be able to smell the smoke. So, you know, it's one of the most primitive um, 
senses that that we've used to discern what is good and what is bad for us and that is the specialty of our sense of smell